Let's work on the bow. Let's work on bow arm. So we're gonna start by setting our bow on the string. We can feel the weight at the frog and just draw a long bow and then stop it at the tip. And then stop it there. Still feel the weight. Now we're gonna feel the weight again. You're gonna have to push with this finger and then push it up and stop it. And do that again a couple more times. Stop, push in. Stop, feel the weight of the arm. Just try a few of those real quick. You can hit pause if you want to. And now we're gonna do two per bow. So it's gonna be like this. Just try that real quick. And then we're gonna do it together here in a minute. So I just wanna show you the exercises. Now we're gonna do four per bow. So every time we stop, and then we make sure we're kind of dug in and we get that little consonant sound, that k, that kind of sound. We can do, finally we can do eight. And then eight up bow. Let's do it together and let's do it with the track. Ready? So we'll start with one bow, uh, three, four. Stop, push. Just don't worry about it. 
Try to release tension in your neck, your shoulders. Supporting here, let's go like a two. Back to four. Let your body be fluid. Let yourself feel your hips are open, your torso, your shoulders open. Letting gravity do the work. left arm. It comes from the back muscle, actually. We're going to do eight now. Awesome. I'm going to let this run a little bit for you, just this track, and I'll give you a couple suggestions. And you can write these down if you want, but you could do Run Pony. You could do Pony Run. And you can try both of those at the frog, in the middle, and at the tip. So, for example, Run Pony. That's at the tip. I'll try it at the frog. I'll do pony run in the middle. And not worry, I'm not worrying about composition, right? I'm not worrying about playing the best notes. Just thinking about articulation, rhythm, and bow control. So you can try a little bit of this if you want. I want to thank Janet. Um, she's been a, a student of my classes and she's a, a an orchestra teacher for many, many years, a great cello player. And she actually recommended this to one of our, our students, Daryl. And so I wanted to put this out here. Uh, I'll spell Janet's full name below, Janet Harvig, but she had suggested this in our Facebook group. So if you're not in the Facebook group, if you're not a member of my classes, follow the links below. So you can come to our regular play along classes and get support inside the Facebook group and all kinds of other good stuff. Okay, so I'll give you this, this uh, groove for you to practice along with a little more. Ready, go. Mm -hmm. 